Hello, James Greeny here from internetbizuni.com and in this video I'm going to be explaining about the offer ad that I created and the results that I got on Amazon, how many sales I got from this ad on Amazon and just looking through the results and improving this ad so that I get more sales for less cost. I recommend that you go back and watch the video that I create an offer ad on Facebook as this ad will make a lot more sense after you see how I create my offer ads on Facebook. So I'm going to jump in and just go through the results and explain the slight changes that I'm going to make to this ad to get it to perform even better. There has been 20 clicks on the link. There has been over 1500 people reached with this ad. The cost per click is 42 and the amount spent is 841. The relevant score is five. Basically what a relevant score is, if you're not familiar with Facebook ads, is a score that Facebook gives your ad to show how relevant it is. So 10 is extremely relevant and one is very unrelevant. So don't worry about this. It's only an average relevant score, but you can easily improve this by getting your offer on front of the right people. With the first ad, you just want to get it out on front of people and then start making changes to your ad. So if you've been using Amazon ads, you are probably familiar with creating an automatic campaign, pulling the profitable keywords and putting them in a manual campaign and negative off the unprofitable keywords. This is a pretty similar process. You're finding what works and you're amplifying it and you're finding what's not working and you're getting rid of it. You can put a lot more into your ad. So I just created an ad for seven days with a budget of £25. And this is how much they've spent so far, 841 But if you want to get more data back, then I would recommend put more of a budget behind it so that you will get more data to work with and you'll be able to make quicker improvements to your ads. This ad is actually doing what I want from it, but I also want to improve it to make it do even better. So, so far it has reached 20 people have clicked on it and out of them 20 people, 7 people have purchased this product. You can easily check on Amazon how many people purchase your product using a discount code. Just go into orders and check through your orders and you will see what products have been used with this discount code. So I'm happy that this ad is working, but I'm going to make some more improvements to the ad. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go up to where it says demographics, click on demographics. So now here we can look at what is working and what's not working. So this is this ad was just sent to women and this was women within a wide range of ages because with the first ad you want a broad spectrum to see what does work. So we can see here with women. Uh, 25 to 34 they showed the ad to 1126 and out of them eight clicked on the link women 35 to 44 uh, 58 women they showed it to one person clicked on the link 45 to 54 164 uh, people they showed the ad to four clicked on the link and 277 two people clicked on the link this one 252 at six people clicked on the link so you can easily see here even by just looking at the bars which one's working so the blue bar is showing you the link clicks and the green bar is showing you the people the amount of people that it's reached so now all i'm simply going to do is create three new ad sets for this ad i'm going to create an ad set for this demographic so targeting women over 65 for this demographic, targeting women between 45 and 54, and for this demographic, targeting women between 35 and 45. So it's going to be three different ad sets targeting three different demographics, and everything else in these three ads is going to be left the exact same as this main ad. A lot of people, when they start making changes, make too many changes at once. You should not do this. So I'm going to create the exact same ad as this, but target it at women between 35 and 44 and uh, do another ad set targeted at women between 45 and 54 and do another ad set targeted at women 65 plus. If you want you can kill these ads so that you're not running anymore to 55, 64, kill this one at 25 to 34 or you can create a new ad set showing them maybe a different image or different copy and see how they react to a different ad shown to them. 
But for now, to keep it real simple, all you have to do is create an ad for this group, this group, and this group. And you can see the cost per click of all of these is a lot lower. So this cost per click is 55. You can see the cost per click over here. This cost per click is 23p. This cost per click is 25. This cost per click is 37. So if you were to get this out to more people and keep this cost per reach, it will be a lot better ad than the ad we are currently running as the ad we are running now is costing 42p per click. So reducing this will make a more profitable ad. But it is also extremely important that you check your orders on Amazon to see that the same amount of orders are still coming through because different demographics will purchase at different rates. So when you narrow down this into different demographics, it is important to see that they are still purchasing at the same rate on Amazon. I'm not going to go into creating ad sets in this video, but it's really simple to do. You just go create ad set and create three new ads for this and focus on what's working and then you can delete what's not working. I go through my whole launch process in the unique private label course. The doors are reopening over the next couple of days for this course. So if you would like to be notified when I reopen the doors, then click on the link below. It's in the description. I go into my complete launch process in great detail in that course. I show you how to find hot selling products, create your own unique versions of these products, contact manufacturers, get your products shipped from China to Amazon in the US, UK or wherever you're shipping it to and create your own launch process so that you start making a lot of sales from day one and get your product out onto page number one on Amazon as this is where all the sales are happening. If you are interested in step-by-step -step training showing you how to launch profitable private label products on Amazon, then click on the link below now. Enter your name and email address and I will notify you when the doors reopen or if the doors are open when you're watching this video, the link will direct you straight through to the page where you can purchase the course. I hope that you have found this helpful and I will speak to you again soon.